Hey everybody, welcome to the Sky Lounge Podcast, episode number 178. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode. Follow me at the Sky Lounge on SoundCloud, iTunes, and Google Music, and also check out at the Sky Lounge on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And without further ado, let's get started with episode number 178. Dude, where's my bloody script? Bruh, it wasn't written. It wasn't. And I'll be honest with you, boys and girls, right now it is 5 in the morning here in Las Vegas <clears throat> as I am recording this on June 14, 2020. And an evening nap followed by a bottle of fucking pre-workout and exercising afterwards kind of just culminated into this being a 5 a.m. recording. And again... I didn't want to fucking talk about goddamn politics. I didn't want to to fucking talk about crazy ass shit going on in the world right now. So, yeah. Yeah, we're going to kind of continue a similar vibe like yesterday. We're just going to smoke. I'm going to talk about random shit. And I will let you know, okay? I will let you know right now. I'm talking about Trump tomorrow. Okay. That's that's just a fair warning to all of you motherfuckers. You know, episode number 179, we're going to talk about we're going to talk about President Trump. Okay? And I'll also have to say this real quick. Today on June 14th, 2020, marks the 74th year that the God Emperor himself has walked this earth. All hail the God Emperor Donald J Trump, light bringer of Kek, destroyer of Moloch, Extinguisher of Baphomet, let the God Emperor make America great again. Mmm. Mmm. I can already just feel the hatred. I could feel you seething there, you know? But suck it up, you little bitch. All the fucking salt in the world isn't going to save you now. Trump's going to win 2020. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Fun way to start the fucking podcast, right? (laughs) What a great way to start and scare off all the goddamn children. And I'm going to call you kids children, okay? Can't stand some fucking opinions. I'm going to get all upset and leave. All right, dude, then fucking leave. Holy shit. Oh, my God. How many fucking times have to tell you I'm not going to fucking pander to goddamn assholes? Just not. Just going to say what I'm going to say and be honest about it. That's all I can give you folks, man. What I can also give you is this lovely pipe uh, view here. Um, For those of you who aren't familiar, this is for Zaweed, uh, marijuana. And this pipe I've had for about a couple years, but until today... Shit was just covered in, like, ashes and fucking clusters of nasty fucking shit. And it took me about 30 minutes to clean this entire thing, all right? And it looks fucking gorgeous and about to smoke out of this shit. And a reminder, boys and girls, I'm doing this shit in one take. I mean, all these episodes, you know, I do in one take. I'll probably re-record the beginning if I stumble or fuck up, but it's a fucking... 30 minutes sprint to the finish line every goddamn day in June. <laughs> 14 days in June, man. Can't believe that shit. Oh, man. That's that's pretty. I forgot how clear this used to look. Because I'm so used to just being a fucking lazy piece of shit and not fucking cleaning anything. And yeah, I'm, I'm fucking honest about myself, kids. I don't fucking go out and tell you that oh, I'm the cleanest dude. <clears throat> I'm the strongest guy. I'm the funniest guy. No, I'm just a dude. I'm just a guy. I don't need to boast. I'm just here and if you want to chill and chat, well, I'm here. But most of the times I'm usually hauled away in my cave. <laughs> I don't really like going outside all that much. I used to go out a lot. I used to go out a lot. Um especially during college, you know, last two years of college, I, I recall just 
going to fucking parties every goddamn weekend. And yeah, man, that's when I drank the most, which was, oh, goddamn nightmare. Because of course, when you're younger, you're just trying to fit in. You're trying to, you know, impress people who you should not even give a shit about. But I've had a couple of rough nights. I've had a couple of fucking terrible hangovers the next day. I've had a couple of fucking blackout films. You know, you know what that is? Where you just fucking black the fuck out. Like the, the film just, just, just clips off in the memory dome and... You're, you're, you're basically playing uh, Christopher Nolan's Memento the next day. Trying to figure out the fucking memory backwards and shit. And when you realize, like, what happened the next day, it's like, oh, well, fuck me. I am a piece of shit, aren't I? Yes, yes, you are. What fucking incidents did you have? Oh, dude, I've had plenty. I have plenty of terrible drunk stories. I'll tell you one of them. I'll tell you one of them right now. It was a couple years back. I was working at the casinos. One night, a buddy of mine says, hey, let's go to the club. You know, just take a fucking half day at work and just fucking go to the club. And I did. I'm not going to fucking, you know, deny that shit. I'm not going to be ashamed of that. I did. Now I want to hang out with my friends. And so we go to the nightclub. You know, my friends are pretty tired despite the fact that they were the ones that um initiated going to this event you know got the table and everything which was fantastic you know kudos to them and i ended up being pretty tipsy by like an hour in and i think by the second or third hour that's when my friends left and i was still just lingering around the fucking table um up until you know i felt okay i'll just kind of migrate to the bar by the time I get to the bar, I'm not even sure where the fuck I am, okay? I'm at a certain point where the alcohol consumption has just kind of <laughs> sliced the fucking brain in half, and you're barely functioning as a human being. And so the next like, blips of fucking film that I remember in my head is I'm trying to talk up these two fucking women, all right? These two beautiful Latina women, and I know I'm a fucking idiot. All right, I know I'm fucking terrible at flirting. I can admit that shit. I'm not going to fucking hide that. I'm terrible at it. And add to the fact that you're just just dirt drunk, I mean, you're going to sound like a fucking moron. But like the kind of, you know, I guess self-sabotaging pussy that I was, I still kind of am, really. Uh... <laughs> You know, I bought myself another drink, then kind of like stammered and screamed at them like, hey, I'm going to buy you guys a drink. Hey, you guys want three? <laughs> and so we all get drinks. They fucking take their shit and leave because, of course, when a fucking creepo just gives you fucking free drinks, you don't really have any obligation to stay. And I'm not going to fucking blame those women. Why the hell would I? But of course, you know, back when you're, you know. In that mindset, and when you're young and you're just drunk, you're just fucking getting angry. Like, well, what the fuck, man? This is fucking bullshit. But I get all depressed and all sad. Redundant, yes, but it gets to a point where I said, okay, cool. I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to leave. And I did leave. And I remember somehow making it to a lift. Somehow then just seeing lights pass by and then i wake up i wake up the next morning and holy crap this was when i was living with roommates and i remember just the hallway had my clothes with vomit smear on it okay <laughs> this included my jeans my fucking sweater a piece of my shirt and i'm just thinking ah fuck what the hell happened what the hell happened and all I can recollect uh, was the fact that, okay, I, I got back home somehow, super fucking drunk. But then I get an email. <laughs> then, then I get a fucking email that says, hey, you're getting charged a fucking service fee for vomiting all over the fucking lift. And I, I thought, what the fuck are they talking about? And 
I look and I check the notes and back then I don't think they had pictures of what the incident was. So I had to just kind of take, you know, lift email word for it in a sense and pay the 150 bucks. <laughs> true story true story i have the receipt and everything and that's when i learned dude don't get blackout drunk by yourself especially when you're outside and especially when you're alone right and horny as hell and not getting any ass or getting any luck of getting ass and just fumble doing dumb shit all right don't do that don't do that i'm telling you from experience kids don't fucking do that it sucks holy fuck it fucking sucks because you're just trying to retrace you know your steps the next day and you're thinking ah i've done fucked up done fucked up this is why I smoke now i don't really fucking drink and plus physiologically i i'm not really partial i guess um to alcohol nowadays you know if i drink i have to kind of plan ahead and get proper amount of exercise within the span of days before drinking and even when i do drink you know i'm drinking a lot but i know i'm gonna suffer the next day it, it's a very very delicate balance of figuring out what the fuck i need to do physically being mentally sharp about it and suppressing weird emotional urges that's that's the key to drinking it's fucking hard <laughs> it's it's fucking hard man should i drop my goddamn phone but you don't want to goddamn fumble your shit when you're drunk man just like i did with my fucking phone here you don't want to fucking fumble your shit it's embarrassing it sucks you want to have control you know with what you can and your body you know, your mind, your spirit, all that shit, you can control it, okay? So, with all that said, I don't really like to drink anymore. Yeah, you know, I like it once in a while. Don't get me wrong. I, I still like a odd beer here and there. I mean, I would love a fucking pint of Guinness right now at my favorite pub, McMullen's Irish Pub, purveyor of the finest Guinness. And no, whenever I mention these places, I'm not fucking plugging them. Uh, I'm not getting paid to do it. I'm just talking about my fucking favorite places to go, man. And that's That's real. Because you'll have assholes everywhere and anywhere on the web just promoting bullshit. And you know it's not authentic. I mean, go on Instagram, dude. Instagram is the fakest fucking reality ever. You'll have all these fucking just bootied out bitches like, Ew! Look at my ass. Guess what I'm selling? Some protein bars, 20% off. Now, if you just want to insert it right here, the promo code, you just go in. Like, what the fuck? I don't need to see your ass to see some fucking promo code, dude. Just fucking put the product up. And I get it. There's going to be fucking horn dogs out there just looking at you like, oh, dude, fuck. I'm going to just buy a protein shake. Bruh. <laughs> just be honest about your shit. <laughs> That's, that's all I'm saying. Oh, my God. Hey, what do you don't like titties and ass, dude? I love tits and ass. But when it gets to a point when it's just exhausting, man. I mean, it, it, it's every fucking day you go on Instagram. It's some fucking... It's some fucking mediocre ass looking bitch with her tits squeezed up. And like, oh, I'm going to sell you something. Here you go. Go on my website. And you just kind of ignore it, and you just think, okay, whatever, man. All right, I'm just gonna ignore it because wh why? Why? Like, why would I comment? You know, if I have nothing really interesting to say, I'm not gonna say shit. And with a lot of those uh, pages, you know, where the girls are just promoting their ass and you know talking about sunsets, you just see a lot of fucking, you see a lot of dudes just being goddamn simp's. Putting these women on a fucking pedestal. Guys, stop that shit. Stop it. Stop it. Wake the fuck up. Am I perfect about it? No. No. 
<laughs> and I'm saying that from experience and mistakes. Many mistakes. Many mistakes. Not a lot of dudes will tell you that because they have some fucking ego to shield up. But I, I don't. I don't. Fuck that. Fuck that. I like being honest, man. Because within honesty, you, you find you find yourself. You find who you really are. And I find out that, man, I ain't perfect, but I'm going to keep trying for, you know, things I believe in, things I, you know, hold true to. And, and that's that's really it. But, yeah, I am, I am sick of those fucking... Instagram models. And I'm, I'm saying that, ironically speaking, with a Madison Ivy fucking picture and Alexis Texas flashlight. Uh, flesh light, kids. Specificity. You're fucking disgusting! Dude, fuck you. Shut up. Shut up. I've seen what you fucking normies cheer for and fucking get excited about. Really? You're gonna fucking judge me? You stupid motherfuckers get excited about the fucking fat fucking cunts in the Kardashians. You fuckers get excited about them goddamn fucking basic ass fucking Tide Pod commercials. So like, why the fuck should I expect anything from you goddamn normies? Fuck off. Jesus. You're an angry piece of shit. Yeah, I am. What the fuck are you going to do about it? Come to my house and give me a fucking therapy session for free? I mean, if you, if you could, that'd be actually pretty cool. <laughs> that'd, actually, that'd actually be pretty cool. I'd, I'd actually appreciate that. Like, oh, you're going to listen to me talk about my goddamn problems? All right. It won't even be me talking about my problems. Eventually, that shit's going to turn around like, you know, Uno reverse, where I fucking look at you and say, yo, man, what's your deal? You Okay. You shoulder cry on man, like, what's your deal, man? And you do that whole fucking Robin Williams, it's not your fault shit. <laughs> it's not your fault. It's not your fault. <laughs> Matt Damon. Matt Damon. <laughs> oh, I love Matt Parker and Trey Stone. Oh, wait, is it Matt Stone and Trey Parker? Fuck, why the fuck did I mix that shit up? It's the fucking weed, you stoner. Get the fuck out the fucking weed. Shut up. No, you, you stop that. It might be the weed, but it's also the fact that it's five in the fucking morning, all right? I'm trying to just pick up shit from my fucking brain, my rattled fucking brain here. So don't expect too much, okay? That's all I'm saying. God damn it, dude. You're losing your goddamn mind. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Talk about goddamn Instagram models and literally forgetting what I just talked about. <laughs> it's the fucking we. I I know we just we just said that I know. But damn it, I like it. I got my fucking Gandalf pipe today. Feeling like a fucking wizard. Smoking shit up. Perusing the interwebs for memes. And hilarity. And I'll tell you what, man. I'm going to tell you this. Don't go to fucking YouTube for those goddamn front page, you know, creators. Like that fucking douchebag. Um, oh, God, what's his fucking name? Or her. I don't fucking know, dude. Yeah, I'm not going to apologize for that shit either. Like... If I don't know, I don't know. And yeah, I'll probably be insensitive about it, but I don't really give a shit. All right, because I'm not, I'm not the demographic for that fucking channel and shit. You know the fuck I'm talking about that. J James Charles, is that right? Charles James, whatever the fuck that dude's name is. Or, oh, fuck, I, I don't care. But all I'm saying is, man, like, don't just watch, you know, front page creators. Okay, YouTube was founded on YouTube poop, you know, schadenfreude, <laughs> okay, YouTube was founded on YouTube poop and schadenfreude, okay, and schadenfreude is German for taking pleasure in other people's pain, yes, I mean, one of my favorite all-time uh, YouTube videos is Go Wet, it's this little girl with the fucking dog, and as soon as she says go, the dog just Boom, just rushes in, and the girl just falls flat on her face on the ground. Blah! 
<laughs> it's so bad that I'm laughing at them. <laughs> it's the fucking funniest goddamn thing ever. It's the funniest goddamn video ever, man. It's my favorite. It's my absolute favorite. And I know I'm a horrible person, but yeah, fuck you. Shot in front of bitch. Yeah, the German fucking obsession. Schadenfreude. Like in Trump. You're a fucking Nazi, man. Dude, has everybody, like, just forgotten how to read? I swear, I mean, that, I, I feel like that's a genuine question at this point. Like, has everyone forgotten how to fucking read in this country? Feels like it. Oh, you said this? Dude. Think about it in context. All right, do some fucking research, kiddo. Don't fucking get at me with that. I'm a racist. What have I told you, man? What have I fucking told you? I don't give a shit what race you are. All right? If you're a piece of shit, you're a piece of shit. You should be called out for it. Don't fucking get at me with that goddamn race thing. It annoys the fuck out of me. You know, when, when people just say, oh, everyone's a racist, you're just a lazy cunt. You're just a lazy cunt. Kind of like this episode. <laughs> but like I said, I, I needed a breather. After talking like three fucking days about that shit, I really needed a goddamn breather. So Toby, finest weed in all the South Farthing. How many times have you watched that fucking trilogy? A lot. Way too much, if you ask me. Why do you keep fucking shaking the goddamn table? Dude, I have no goddamn coordination right now at like 5 a.m. I just don't. I don't. And I am at a certain point blanking on topics at the, off the top of my head. And I apologize, boys and girls, because that's literally what this episode is called. Dude, where's my script? Bruh, it's not written. <laughs> it's not written. Okay, and I'm, I'm not joking. I'm not joking, okay? I'm gonna show I'm gonna show you the script, okay? And this this is literally the fucking body of what I have to work with right now. If you can see that right here. And I know on the audio version you're not gonna be able to see it, but I have the script written now for the intro, the actual episode, and next episode with the outro. That's really it. Okay. So bear with me, kids. It's one of those free fall episodes. We don't know where the fuck we're gonna go, but we know we're gonna go down. <laughs> We, we know we're, ge we're, we're gonna go down. So, boy, oh boy. What's with fucking video game companies these days, man? What the fuck is up with goddamn video game companies these days? Every goddamn time, you just try to buy one video game, you gotta buy 15 other goddamn DLC, and they'll always have to fucking update, which is gonna take like five fucking hours to download. And then on top of that, if you have online features... They're just going to give you all these goddamn stupid ass announcements and updates and just activism. And you think to yourself, I just want to play. <laughs> I just want to fucking play this video game. Can you fuckers just let me play this goddamn video game in one piece, please? Is that hard? Is that fucking hard, video game industry people? And I know. I know it's hard. I know there's so much fucking work involved in the video game industry, despite the fact that I've never been in the video game industry. But I can only imagine, you know, like AAA games. I can only imagine the fucking stress and the goddamn pressure that comes with it. I can only imagine, dude. But is it so fucking hard to ask? Like, hey, maybe you could just take extra time to develop and produce the game all right, and just have a later fucking release date and produce something of quality instead of fucking tidbits of fucking DLCs and microtransactions. Go fuck yourself with that. Microtransactions are the biggest fucking scams ever. Like straight up, like they're the biggest fucking scams ever, especially on mobile games, man. You always read cases about children who use their parents' credit card to buy literally thousands of dollars worth of microtransactions. And, you know, obviously you have the fucking narrative of the stories where the parents are always saying, oh, we didn't know, all oh, the kids didn't know. But you know what? That shit's on the fucking video game. 
That shit is absolutely on the fucking video game. The way they entice children into this shit and the way they fucking, like, man manipulate your fucking brain into fucking just throwing away goddamn money in a useless fucking video game, which probably didn't even fucking take, what, a year to develop at most? I mean, a lot of these fucking games now, they're just copy and paste, man, especially on mobile. Oh, we're going to do fucking build-up games. All right, now, like, fucking Futurama, Family Guy, Adventure Time, fucking every goddamn show known to man has a fucking build-up game. You know what I'm talking about. You build up your civilization. You attack fucking other cities and shit. You keep boosting up with your clans. That's shit. And then now, it's fucking... Oh, what's that goddamn thing? Uh, MOBAs. MOBAs became fucking huge on mobiles. And... Everything now is literally the same fucking thing, man. And that kind of depresses me about video games right now. And so I'm holding out on you shit. I really am. I have to. I have to. Because, of course, I mean, like I talked about yesterday, I, I still got a shit ton of video games to play. And when you go back to some of these classics, man, I mean, the shit that's churning out now, despite the better graphics, I mean, it doesn't compare. Like, I'll give you an example. Assassin's Creed 2 will never replace any of the new Assassin's. Like, all, all the new Assassin's Creed games right now, they're trash. Like, I, I'm straight up saying that right now. They're trash compared to Assassin's Creed 2. Absolute trash. Yeah, I know the new Assassin's Creed went a very different direction, and I do not really care for it. Seems very, very much a vanilla style of play, whereas Assass Assassin's Creed 2, in my eyes, was a perfect video game. Yeah, they had the DLC issue, like many others, but it is, it is Ubisoft. What do you expect? But as a whole, I mean, Ezio Aditore's journey um, from young man to you know, essentially master assassin in you know Renaissance time Italy is so fucking great. I mean, it looks fantastic. It plays so well. It's such smooth controls and the music's awesome. I mean, the story is just phenomenal as it unfolds and I mean, it it really does beat every fucking Assassin's Creed game out the fucking water. Of course. I mean, I do hold an asterisk for Black Flag. Okay? If you guys don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, I'm talking about the Assassin's Creed video game series and there's been, oh god, there's been how many games now? There's been one, two, Brotherhood, Revelation, that's four, all in the Auditore thing. Uh, you have three, oh god, three, Black Flag, the fucking one with the Rogue, the DLC one, which technically is like a quarter game, but I mean, we technically won't, oh, we'll, we'll count that, we'll count that, so that's eight. Uh, you had the fucking French one. The English one on the next generation, which were terrible. And then you had the fucking two new ones in Assassin's Creed. And a third one coming out on the new generation with fucking Vikings, which brings you to 13 video games. That's not even including all the fucking Game Boy editions, all the fucking ones previously tied into the series. But no, like the main, you know, triple A, you know, next generation shit. There's been 13 fucking games, and honestly, two great ones. Two truly great ones. I mean, Black Flag was fucking incredible. And if you guys haven't played Assassin's Creed, basically it's the story of two groups, the Templars and the Assassins. Templars trying to take over the world, uh, even in present day, under, you know, corporations, you know, global elites, all that shit. And you have the assassins who are just trying to be everyday normal people. And it takes you throughout history through this machine where a, a character gets plugged in, the main characters at least, get plugged in and you get to relive the memories of your ancestor. And yeah, Assassin's Creed 2 and Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag are the best fucking Assassin's Creed game, period. Period. There is no fucking comparison. Man. There just isn't. And every time, you know, 
I talk about Assassin's Creed, I get upset because it's a franchise where I thought, wow, this is going to be so great moving forward. And then they just kept tripping up on themselves and never recovered. And the new ones right now, yeah, admittedly, I haven't played them. But based on what I know and what I like, I know for a fact I'm going to get fucking tired of that game. Seems like a grindy fucking near MMO mess. Which, again, I could get into like the first maybe 20, 30 hours. And then after that, it's like, ah, this is all fucking excessive. I don't do this shit. I don't. But that's why Assassin's Creed 2 was just perfect. And then, yeah, Assassin's Creed 4, uh, Black Flag, also perfect. Um, but 2 just holds that superior advantage. It always does. It always does. God damn, dude. He's talking about fucking video games all day. Makes me want to actually play video games right now after this episode. Because I'm not going to lie, man. When you don't really have a script going on, <laughs> it becomes a goddamn mess. It really does. I'll, I'll admit to that right now. And the last two days has a bit about you, kids. It's, it's a bit about me. I, I, I've been tired, okay? I still am tired. You know, the pre-workout is just kind of keeping me up I'm like a fucking maniac. But, you know, the physical activity, you know, that you partake in. With the pre-workout, that actually sets it apart as well. So you might be wondering, uh, what what do you do? What, did you go to the gym? No, uh, it was about twelve in the morning when I started working out. So driving to the gym was kind of out of the question for me. I don't really like going out late uh, nowadays, really. Uh, so I usually just work out in the garage now. I just I've actually been doing that for the last month or so, where. I'll go ahead and put on body weights, 50 pounds total. Um, what's the fucking, what's the fucking math on that shit? It's 20 pounds on the legs altogether. No, it's 20. Is it? Yeah. So it's 10 and 10, which is 20, 20 on the chest, uh, five and five on the arms. So that's 50. Uh, on top of that, I just put a sweater on, um, a fucking lifting belt for my back because I don't want to fuck that shit up again or any any time consistently, which, I mean, for fucking up your back sucks. It really does. Uh, put elevation mask, a beanie, and I work out. And I'll tell you what, man. It, it's kind of this masochistic need of pushing myself in the harshest environment possible. And uh, what... The kind of added annoyance right now is that Vegas' weather has been getting cooler, which is weird. I mean, I don't like the heat, but for workout purposes in the garage, I need it to be hot because over 105 degrees in Las Vegas, garages become like just a fucking hellhole. And for me, that's the best environment to work out at. That, for me, feels like uh, Dragon Ball Z's hyperbolic time chamber where... You know, a, a fucking year inside the hyperbolic chamber uh, is a day in the outside world. 360, 365 days inside the hyperbolic time chamber, equivalent to one day on the outside. That's what I feel like when I'm in, um, in my garage, in the heat, with all that shit on. And yes, when it's 106 plus degrees, I will wear 50 fucking pounds of body weight, a sweater, a fucking lifting belt, beanie, elevation mask, and just work out because it's fucking fun. What the fuck are you... Dude, it's fucking fun. I don't know what else to say. Like, <laughs> It's hard to explain, but it, it is what it is, man. Some people have a very weird definition of fun. I mean, me, I enjoy working out in grueling settings and putting a camera on myself and talking about nonsense. That's what I like, that's what I like to do. And, and watching garbage on YouTube. That, that's... I feel like that. that's a lot of people with YouTube. But... Kids... This has been a journey, this episode, a messy ass journey, but a, a journey nonetheless, a journey nonetheless. We've just been talking randomly out our ass, but this is where we're going to end. <laughs> this, this is where we're going to end. All right. Ultimately, no script, no problem. Well, well, kind of a problem, but we, we got here. We got here. And like I said, on the next episode, hate it or love it. I'm going to talk about Trump. Okay. And that's a fair warning right now. Again, at the end, where I'm reminding you, listen, if you don't want to fucking listen, that, that's fine. That's fine. I don't really give a shit. All right? All right, motherfuckers.
I appreciate you dropping by this episode. Follow me at the Sky Lounge on SoundCloud, iTunes, and Google Music. And also follow me at the Sky Lounge on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Until next time, fuck off.